investigation. Now, if I get a response back, could I email it to you? Absolutely. I mean, when I get a response, she will respond to it. Can we get a copy of that? Is that, is that okay with the board? It's your, your oh, writing. Sure. There you go. Thank you. Does it say confidential and stuff? No, yeah, confidential in terms of association well, of town's attorney. We don't even want to really get into that, do we? And that was a no. privilege of communication between her and there, but I don't tell you what to do, you're elected official. Let me cross out the word confidential with that. How's that? Yeah. We have yeah. to go to that extent? No problem. How about yours? Should I cross that off in yours too? I don't care. Anybody else want a copy? So we had the public hearings that we had on it that are required by law. You're aware of that. Because How many had, public hearings did we have? We had one for the CDBG grant. We had one for uh, the actual bond that needed to be done. We've had two actual. They're all part of the process to apply for the grant. You sat here. Now, were they the relevant, program. Kevin, to just the Morrisonville Water District? That's the only thing I've been working on for two and a half years. Yes, they were for the grant on the Morseville Water. Which could ask me this instead of asking her that, but that's fine. Well. So anyways, like I said, vote on it as you will. I will. Um, again, I would like to continue with the efforts that we have made and the strides that we have been. I can't promise you monies that I can't promise you because I don't know whether or not our congressional funding will come through. We have Jill Brandt, um, Elise Stefanik, and Chuck Schumer that have all recommended it. We're gonna apply for the WEA grant, which is 60% funded up to $3 million. We won't know about that until 2023. As long as the project's under construction and it's not completed, those monies are still available to us. Uh, the congressional funding has to go through the Ways and Means Committee and get voted on at the Senate in Washington, D.C. So I can't, I can't tell you how that all turned out. But we picked up by three pretty good size, uh, well no one I should say, uh, politicians. So we'll see how that goes. But in the interim, we're to that point. We're to the point where either I pick up the two and a half boxes and put them in the safe and we're done with it, or we move forward. Everybody that was, took the time last night to be there, which was more than is in this room tonight, okay, that were part of the Marshall Water District, wanted to move forward with the project. So my vote is to move forward with it at this time. Any other discussion? No. Did you get most of that, hopefully? Yeah. Under discussion? I got it. Um, okay. All right. Are you going to let the other people talk? Or are you going to wait? What's that? Well, they want to they wanna say something, right? Yeah, the eye roller may want to say something. Go ahead. Well, I'm not really sure if it even makes a difference at this point because I'm sure it's already set in stone. And the informational meeting last night was just that information. It was not to gather anyone's thoughts or cares about this project like your decision has been made and it's clear it's been, been made for quite some time you don't care what they had to say last night and you don't care what we have to say tonight which is very concerning okay so that would be your perception and also you say these two meetings that you've had i've only been notified of one meeting in the paper. and there are in the paper who reads the paper anymore 
We have to place those ads in the paper because that is our official newspaper. But if you mail me a letter for yesterday, Republican. why did I not get a letter specific to me before? And did it even really matter, though, I guess, is my point. Like, you spent $100 in stamps, but this is, like, the next 38 years I'm going to be paying this? I'll be half dead by then. You're pricing everybody out of the town. Taxes, this new water thing. I mean, it is getting insane. I am taxing everybody out of the town? Pretty much. Who's got higher taxes in the town of South, uh, lower taxes in the town of South Falls right now? Every, it just goes up and up and up and up and it Who never stops. Who has lower taxes in the town of South Falls right now? Town of Clinton. Yeah. Town of Clinton. Yeah. You said name correct. one, there's one for you. There, that's right. There is one town where the fifth largest town in Clinton County and we have the second lowest taxes out of all of those towns. The only reason why Clinton, the town of Clinton, has a lower tax rate than we do is because of all the windmills. And that windfall is coming to an end shortly because they had a 10-year agreement, which is coming to the end. You know what helps this town? It is the landfill. Okay? The landfill gives us over half a million dollars in tipping fees a year, which keeps your general tax down to where it is right now. Our general tax is at 37 cents a thousand, okay? You can't even look in Clinton County and find anything that's anywhere near close to that mineral dollar amount. I have, in the last two and a half years, to answer your question, when I took over, we had 998,000 left in the general fund, okay? An unallocated general fund. They were taking 300 and something thousand a year out of that fund to subsidize the town um, budget. That means there were three years left of monies left. Okay? You know what the general fund is right now? You know what the unallocated fund is right now? Over $2.3 million. I've equalized the budget. I haven't raised the tax. I've lowered the tax for your information. And we've been able to do everything that we've done because we've been put in for grants. So you can Put the misinformation out there, but I can give you the correct information. You can. And if you're willing to come down to the office, I will show you the records to prove exactly what I put on the record tonight. I, I'm not here to tax anybody out of Scholar Falls. Okay, I so want, listen to my water want, bill now and what my water bill is going to be. Okay. I understand that. And that was my concern. That's why I did the extra informational meeting because we hadn't had the participation. When when we did the one for Macy Lane, what did we get, 15 out of 47? That's a whole different scenario. I'm just asking. It's your, <laughs> it's no, it's different. The okay. funding so, is totally, it's okay. like day and night. I, I understand, but, but you, what I'm saying is you get the same amount of participation. Yes, I'll agree there because I'm from Macy the same Lane. Amount of there's people there. There's no They'll difference the in what we're talking about. come in and complain after, but the they won't take the time to come down and get those answered when we have the person so there. So there would have been 300 people there last night. You're telling me your vote tonight would have been no. If I'd have had 300 people down there, if I'd have had 150 people down there telling me no, they didn't want to move forward, I'd have stopped it. I told her that the day, be, the day I went down there, okay, I said, if I get that, I told, that's my exact words, I said, I will pack all this stuff up I will put it in the boxes and it will go in the safe. Just like what happened to Ray Noel. It's basically the same water bill 20 years ago when Ray was supervisor. He tried to get it through then. It was a $4 million project. It would have been uh, still through USDA already. had no grant for it, but he did have a bond. The bond would have been paid off by now. And the water district would have been up to date. Okay. Our water district was put in between 1953 and 1956. It had a life expectancy of between 50 and 75 years. It is, it is up to the end of its highest life expectancy. We have no idea where it's leaking. We have no idea how much water we're losing up in the field up there on, on the side of the Flat Rock Road. There is a pond there that never used to be there before. Okay, and 
if the expense of this project is only going to go up exponentially. When I talked to Lucas Manning at USDARD, he goes, it's 8.1 right now. You wait a year and a half to two years, it's going to be 12 million. Two years from there, it's going to be 14 million. And you are going to have to do it sooner or later. It's nobody. The last thing I want to do is charge you more, more taxes. Have you seen okay? how much more my water bill is going to be? I mean, it's not like we're talking a small amount, like oh, fifteen dollars. We're talking hundreds of dollars. It's your, huge. Your, the, the debt service on that, I'm not afraid to say it, is five hundred and seventy-five dollars right now. I saw okay, that per year. That's if we get no more grants and no more funding. All right? Joe and Brandon Schumer have us in for, and I wish you'd have been at the meeting so I'm not I having to do this. I watched it online. Again. You don't have to regurgitate okay. any of it. I watched the recorded right. version of it. So 2.56 right there, <coughs> and then we can put in for another $3 million. I don't know. I can't guarantee you that. And I'm not locking you in to taking that bond tonight. I'm not locking you in to take in the, the two grants. I think that, uh, personally, I think that we're crazy if we throw all that money away. I really do. But I don't, I'm not the, the end, the end of it. It is up to, if this comes out that we don't, our funding changes from what it is right now. That's why I have the informational meeting. Because I, I don't have a crystal ball or a Ouija board or anything I can ask. So I can only tell you what the facts are right now. That with what I have for funding and what I have approved for a bond comes up to exactly what the informational meeting was last night and in the PowerPoint. But I, I can't guarantee you we'll get any of the other funding. But I can guarantee you that, and I agree with you, but that's why I wanted to make sure that everybody was well aware that this is the worst that it can get at this point and do you want to go forward with the project well i think we should have probably or you should have planned ahead and maybe put it out for a vote in enough time that's pretty much all the people are asking for is a yeah. chance to be heard and you know Who, what? it may very well fly who I, knows I, the bulk of the people them, may want it gave them three opportunities to be heard but We're you never have a, a special and election or something it would take a couple of weeks whole, maybe a month to gather up a special election and let the bulk of the people speak and be heard if they all decide they want it great I if believe, they don't then great i i believe that it's going to take more than a month to set up a bulk I, I would have to check into it to see how it would have to be i i know it would have to come out at least one month in advance and i a public hearing i have to do at least announce more than a month in advance well, well you've already had the public hearing into, you said i'm drawing a comparison okay i'm just saying that i don't believe that i can schedule a vote for tomorrow morning and have well, it done and i don't believe i can do it even within two months i think that it's going to take more time than that i really do but well, I think it's worth looking again, into, it, that's for sure. It, it won't matter. Yeah, it yeah, won't matter in three questions. to four months. In the paper next week. Right now, okay. you're letting uh, pretty much a dozen people decide you tell me you can't make the fate of the whole town, Waters Ditch. It's gotta be. They're, they're it's deciding to go forward with it. If this project comes in at $12 million, there's no way that I, I'm going to take, I don't have the money for it, first of all. Okay, that I can't, I wouldn't go back to the Morseville constituent to say, okay, here's what we're getting for bids. It's, it's no different than the garage floor that I just discussed. It was supposed to be $65,000 last year. We decided to wait as a board. I was against that because I was afraid of what the inflation was going to be. But last fall, we could have had it done between 50, 56 and $62,000. Well, and you we, never really did see an estimate or, or a bid on that. Your that was an estimate down. on your part. That was not my part. Well, that whoever the, the company or partner yeah. look at them. I, I'm not going to sit here and litigate it between. Well, at what point do you? Wanna, you what you point do you think they're going to have a chance to speak and, and say, "Okay, we don't want to go forward with it." Last night. Everybody got a letter. Yeah, everybody, got, everybody a letter. got a letter. A That's dozen people. Asked yes. And I, I don't really want to get into even talking, who was attending that. I don't know. I don't want to hear nothing from you to tell you the truth. <sighs> You're not the supervisor here. He is. Doesn't matter. You're yeah. addressing the town board. Yeah. 
He's a board no, I'm addressing the supervisor. You're addressing the town yeah. board when you're yeah, in That's here. what you think. That's, not that's what, what I think. the law says. Right. Oh, yeah. So I'm sure you're quite up to what the law says, aren't you? You're, you're really quick to call, aren't you? Can I, can I talk? Did you want to finish what yes. you were saying, Howard? Or no? Wait, can I speak for a second? Yes. I did get a letter. The purpose of this letter is to invite you to be a part of an informational meeting at the Plaster, or at the Morrisonville Fire Station Monday, June 27th, 6.30, to explain the purpose, pur proposed improvements to the Morrisonville Water District and how these improvements will affect you. The town has been working on this. Why go on? It, so if I got this, just like my neighbors got this, just like he got this, he's my neighbor, and my other neighbor that was supposed to come, but she's busy at work, doesn't say in there that this is gonna affect me, how it's going to affect me, as in, it just says improvements. It doesn't say that it's gonna cost me $575 extra, and then per gallon and all these other, so a lot of people are probably not gonna show up to the meeting when it just says all these great improvements. It's not saying this is going to affect you tax-wise, and it's gonna cost you X amount of dollars ex exponentially from what you're already paying. So that's probably why people don't show up. If I put on there to the rest of the people I work with, by the way, your dues are going up exponentially, they're gonna show up. Cause I did have a meeting and I had people show up when I started talking about money with my, my where I'm employed, everyone showed up. Every single person, my, my employment showed up because it knew it affected them financially. This right here doesn't really say it. it. Just says we're doing some improvements. All right, I don't know. Are you paving a road? I don't have to go vote on or be part of that no, meeting, do I? But let's be let's, let's be don't be sarcastic. Well, no, I'm just saying this is a morsel of water district. We're, so, not, so we're not paving a road. Okay? I'm comparing. I'm like comparing. I'm comparing here. You're using money to pave a road. There's no informational meeting. You pave a road. It is what it is. But when you send a letter saying improvements. How am I supposed to know my water bill is going to go up exponentially? That's why he's here tonight. Because he's sitting here going, okay, maybe I got that letter last night that says we're improving stuff. It doesn't say in there it's going, to, it's going to affect you financially, so you probably should come to see if this is something you want done. Right? That It does not in, in there say anything about that. It just says improvements. All improvements so that the sounds like it's a good thing, are right? financially affect you. I mean, and there's nobody that should not... At this point in time, after two and a half years of all the work that has been done through the, the board down here and all the um, <laughs> all of the public hearings, the, the continual mention of it over the last two and a half years for what we've applied for with grants, what we, ones we got, what ones we didn't get, it, you'd have to live under a shell not to understand that we've been working on trying to improve the Morrisville Water District and that we were going after grants because I've put it out multiple, multiple times during the meetings. And I, I, I'm, I'm with you. People, if you put out uh, uh, something that's going to affect them in their wallet, they're more apt to be there. I, I agree with you, avoid you on that. And any time that we do a, an expansion on anything, it's it's taxpayers' dollars. It's always taxpayers' dollars. It's always going to affect somebody. It's your special district. You in the Morrison Water District? Yes. Okay. So if you're in the Morrison Water District and we're doing a Morrison Water District project, then it's going to affect you whether we're taking it out of the, the unallocated fund reserve because it's still your money okay or whether we're floating a bond to get the rest of it done with the or applying your your unallocated money to apply for grants because it's not free to apply for the grants either we've been <laughs> I, I, I don't know how anybody could say they didn't know that we were doing that all right and well you're sitting with people right here that are did you know about this? That's going to go up that exponentially? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes, Here's my neighbor. My other neighbor couldn't sure. make it. Like I, I mean, if you want us to start a petition or something, I'll go around my neighborhood and walk door to door. Is that something you want? That when I explain to them it's 500 and some odd dollars, you know, it's going to be added on per gallon? I mean, that's... I, 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 I am not going to ever stop anybody from circulating a petition. Okay, if you want to circulate a petition and you want to get those signatures and you want to bring those into me, I will make sure that it goes on the record. And you know what? I, I've got no problem with that because it's your water district. It's what you want to do with it. 
okay? But when I don't hear from the majority, I can only listen to the people that are willing to take the time to show up. And unfortunately, sometimes a very loud minority speaks for a majority. And that happens quite often. Because in this room, you guys, even though you're part of that district, you're a minority for the amount of people that were there the other night. And I agree. I would have loved to see 300 people there. But I can't force them to come there. Okay? So the only thing I can do is what's best for the majority at the time. And if it came between, again, this project escalating out of the, the parameters that I put out for public information last night at the fire station, I would be the first one coming in here and saying, I'm not doing it. I was the first one to say when we got an uh, estimate at 203000 to rebuild the garage, I guess we're not doing that right away. Because we were going to vote on it that night. We had a resolution to, to accept the bid. So at this point, okay. I guess Reggie's had quite a few people reach out to you concerned about this, correct? You've got a whole bunch of people concerned right now. So now, on the video, I counted 12 people. So 12 people there last night for it. Probably 12 again tonight, including the ones that have raised out to Reggie. So you're pretty much 50-50. One main concern I have, I don't know how many people I mentioned it last night, couple weeks ago in the sun front page city of Plattsburgh and state of emergency because of the identical system that is sitting out here if that goes down now this is just gonna be a drop in the bucket it's already gonna be a drop in the bucket because, because you are never gonna get it done lower than what you're gonna do right now and if you got to start working on what's out there in that line instead back. of replacing it like we're trying to do now that cost is going to go four to five times if as much. We, if we, yeah, it's only a matter of time. You're seventy again. years old. So I, I guess you. If we start over again, let me ask vote. you this, okay? If we start over, which we, that's what's going to happen, okay? We're going to go to probably twelve to fourteen million dollars on this bracket. You're going to have a barn that's going to be even higher than the five point five that we need right now. Uh, I agree. Okay. And you're going to have it at a much higher rate. All right. And you're not guaranteed to get the 1.25 or the 1.3 because at at the time that we dilute it, at the time that we, what's that? No, I'm freezing. Oh, okay. Window. I'm listening. You can shut that if you want. But at the time that we applied for the CDBG grant and the USDARG grant, those are moderate to low income threshold grants. Okay. So we have to stay under as a mean income fifty six thousand some odd dollars a year. They came in at fifty four point you know, fifty four thousand some odd dollars a year. Did you do you remember getting your mailers when we asked you to submit your out your annual salaries at your home? That was part of the the uh, uh, need because we had to uh, be able to apply for either one of those two grants you had to have show that you were under that that 56,000 that goes by <coughs> that goes by again the the annual census we just had another census we were not going to hit that threshold this time because of the income levels I've raised in the Morsel Water District we, we will never get those grants again the only reason that we have them now is because we applied for them before the changes. I, I, can't, I can't instill two and a half years worth of knowledge into you in a half an hour. Again. I'm not asking because you. I'm asking you to I, put it up for a vote. What's that? I'm not asking you to. I'm asking you to put can this I, up Can I just say one uh, more pending uh, item in the yeah. discussion, please? Uh, is this. This vote, that's the important thing to me is the vote and it's just like a school board it's just like a school election every year we have the ability to go vote i mean why wouldn't the users of this district have the ability to go and vote on something of this magnitude i mean there's three of us on this board who don't even live in that district Mr. Prouty doesn't. He's absent tonight. 
I don't, and Mr. Newton doesn't. I mean, that's just the way I feel about it, Kevin. That's all. Mr. McCormick, would it be illegal to send a letter out with a vote request? And do we have to have a public hearing and everything else before that, or what? What would be your time gonna, frame? I think if they're going to have a vote, they're going to have to have a real vote. Right. And usually it's tied to <coughs> the November election. And they well, not that, no, I mean, you have a special one. You can have a special and, one. And you understand that all of that would be coming out of the Morrisonville Water District uh, funds. How so long would it take to set one up? I'm not having that. Had to look into uh, running a vote of that nature. Mike, wouldn't it be coordinated through the Clinton County Board of Elections? No, no a special. No, I don't, think, I don't think the special elections are. Oh, I know Donna, you had went through one, so okay. Well, well I, I, the only thing I remember, and I think that Kevin, I, I talked with Kevin about this today. Mr. Dabrowski would remember this at the, at the meeting on the Macy Lane years ago when you did the, the thing. We had to have signatures. Yep for the people to go forward with the project. But I guess it's because of the bond. it was the bond that you did a, um, a, a, a You should be glad bond. that they're doing this for you because we, the 41 houses on Macy Lane, paid for everything ourselves. You're 500 and something, not to be smart. We're three times that and we're paying for 22 years, the people living there, to get a water system. Yes, it's, it is an amount, but we're paying three times that amount every single year. For our, we paid for our own water system to be put in because we had no ability to do it because there wasn't one single lot big enough to put a well. And to get to the point, there was 12 people, I don't know the meeting, the meeting we had, information meeting for Macy Lane, there were seven people here made the decision for the 41 families there because they couldn't, sh they didn't or couldn't show up. Yeah, but you're also talking, you didn't get bonded or anything. You're getting all your upgrades and repairs for free. No, no, he's talking about the original one. The original bond. Yeah, well, they had to buy their own district out. Yeah, I understand yeah, that. There's a bond. We, we paid for the bond, yeah. and it's over three times of what the yearly amount that yeah. you're saying. We're paying almost twenty-one hundred dollars. My my yeah. house, because it's based on the value, I'm paying over twenty-one hundred dollars extra a year. That's not for the water. That's for the bond. So what you're saying, for. based on your situation, everybody else should be in the same situation. <laughs> These people are trying to prevent from being in the situation you're in. Can I, Mr. Dabrowski, I think you're you're incorrect with what you're saying because the night of that meeting, LaBerge had everybody's line item and how much it was going to cost everybody yeah, cool. by ad valorem and everybody signed it and I can go back in that vault and find mm -hmm. everything but I believe there was at least 35 people yeah, that signed that, that, that actual one night this yes. time, right this time you're get you are getting your water free yeah. and maybe that's why just seven people came they're not getting the water free they're getting a uh, line updated but they're getting they don't have to pay for it no that we can do out of the ARPA fund but there, there's, you can't, you could, don't get me wrong. You could use some of the ARPA funds on this project, but it's not going to change the, the amount of the, the, the end user on the bond enough to talk about. It would be wasteful to use that ARPA money, that little bit, another 200000 yeah. it, it would waste it to do it when you're borrowing it at 1.75%. It just it doesn't make good financial sense. But your money would work better for you and the residents of the town use somewhere else in this this particular <coughs> case. My I don't want to speak for the whole board. I look at everything in economics. Sure. Can I just say something though, because I don't feel right if I didn't say it, is that last night there was some incorrect information given where we said it was going to be on the taxes, the amount that was going to be paid it will not be on the tax as we found out today it's going to be a quarterly bill that's going to come out with your water bill and then it's going to and i wouldn't feel right if i didn't say it because it was said wrong last right no i was right. we, we, did find we that thought out. it was 
taxable. It's not taxable. It's not on your taxes. It's going to be a quarterly bill um, for your whatever it's going to be. It, it goes with like your $65 flat rate quarterly bill now. Um, it's broken into that 575 will be broken into the three quarterly or four quarterly things. Along with your O and M. Along contract. with the O and M that we pay now in the home. So yes, that part is important. Then that there were several people last night that asked that question, and they said, well, it would be easier if we broke it up and we could pay it in payments. And we thought at the time that it had to be done, or it would be done on uh, the taxes at the end of the year. But it's not done that way. The only way it goes to the taxes at the end of the year is if somebody defaults. In other words, they, they don't pay their portion. Then it would go to the county. The county would re-levy it. And then it would go on the taxes. I'm sorry. I know you've been waiting a long time. I apologize. You had a question? My question is, you said earlier that you had um, $2.7 million in a little, I call it a slush fund. Is there any chance for these people that you could take some of that money and help pay their water bills? It, it is. It is? What do you mean? The, the, the unallocated funds? Yes. Or are you talking about the, the 2.5 million no, grants? No, the unallocated not? fund. All right. So we could. We could take money out of the unallocated fund right there. Okay. But it's for a special district. So due to the fact that it's a special district, we would have to pay that back within the calendar year. So even oh, okay. if we started, so okay. even if we started on January 1st, year. I would have to, I could borrow against it, right. but I can't take everybody's money in the town and it's, it's called like gifting. I, I and only gift it to a, a small minority of the town resident. Okay. They, I can use money that they have allocated built up in an unallocated reserve, like I said, the 300000 that's in the Morrisonville gotcha. district. And we could use that. But again, that is, that's that's going to be a, a drop in a bucket on a, on a five and a half million dollar bond. But you got to also remember it's at 1.75%. I'm going to make more interest money for them off of that money as the interest rates grow right now. Mm -hmm. Because they just had a three quarter percent interest rate, interest rate and, a, and a half percent before that, and they're not done. It sounds like until they're going to reach eight percent now. So this whole project's going to be a uh, pipe dream <laughs> after this. But that's it. Kevin, there's but so good much. Question. There's so much to this, and you're right about that. Is there any way, any possibility, we could just table this resolution for tonight and try to regroup on this? Maybe get some input from some other folks who live in, in the district. Is there any possibility that we could do that? You can table it, and we, we can. We'll lose the ERR opportunity, which means we're going to lose the WIA grant because there will be no time to, to apply for it. They usually come out in July. I don't know when they're going to come out. Okay. I can only tell you when they normally come out. Okay, And then we would hear the following July in 2023 whether we even got it or not. Mr. LeBurge brought that up last night. He had mentioned in November. What's that? That the WIA grant application would be back up. Like I said, COVID messed up everything. But right. I will tell you that but we, I'm applied, sure he did say that. we applied okay. for in July. He yeah. said you may know something preliminarily in November, right. but you won't you won't see any of that until the, it, it takes a whole year for that application. It takes a whole year. We don't have that. We we have it as long as we move forward. We don't have it if we don't move forward. That's all I can tell you, because your 24 months are going to be up on your 5.5 million dollar bond and 2.5 million we already got in grants. We will lose that all. That is why I had the informational meeting yet. I waited six months waiting on the WEF for this year. We didn't get it. They told us to reapply. Jim, do you have a question? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, something caught my eye a little earlier, and, I, and uh, 
the fact that you said that one of the reasons why Clinton County here had the lower taxes was because of the landfill and all the taxes that they pay. How much longer is that going to be operational? We're talking about this new stuff costing us more money for what, 38 years or something. And when does the income from the landfill end? Or when it stops become no longer operational, they're still going to be paying uh, uh, the type of funds that they're paying to the, the county? Mm -hmm. No, and no. The, the landfill, last time I talked to Sean, and I don't run their business, all right, uh, they're looking out at at least 30 years right now, all right? Um, I don't control them. Okay. They could, you know, I, I, I get along good with Sean. I, I ask him questions. He's, they've been, they're very good neighbors. Uh, they put money into the, the parks that we just renovated. Um, I'm working with them. I don't want to get into that. But I'm just curious. I, I, um, how, the reason why I ask the question is that, is that, is that the funding to keep us ta our taxes low still going to be going on infinitely? Is it going to run out in the landfill sort of closes and just becomes a recreational area? You know? Well, absolutely. Whenever that landfill is done, you're going to see a uh, uh, half a million dollars that needs to be raised in taxes. Just to answer your question, if we did take the $2.5 million and loaned it out to them, had to pay back in 12 months, it would be $694 a month okay. built each person. Okay. If we it's took the unallocated balance. fund balance that we have in and the town used and, to and used it in, that year. To, in order to pay that back to the town within the year requirement the by year. law, it would be $694 plus dollars a month. But what would you be taking that money? I'm not talking as town clerk, no, I'm talking about more stuff. They were asking about, about taking the 2.5 unallocated fund balance that we have right. and putting it against the bond. Right. But I thought we were going to use the bond. No, it, to reduce the bond amount. Oh, 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 I see. Like, okay. like pay plus so you'd have to pay it back in a month, in one year, and that would be $694. Per person, per month, or per every, household. Every million dollars that we get in grants is 20%, 20% less, about $100 off of that $500. <coughs> I'd like to sit here tonight and tell you that we're going to get all, you know, $5 million and you don't have to pay anything. We also are putting in from the, the federal infrastructure, which is a very big push right now because it's all water and sewer. We're doing this project at the at the most we fell into it, but we're doing it at the most opportune time that we've ever had to do it. I'll shut it down tomorrow because it, it doesn't make me it'll make my job down here a hell of a lot easier. I've worked for two and a half years, night and day on this thing. Weekends, holidays, I've taken calls on. I, I, it's it's been my life that project. Will, will I be disappointed? I will be disappointed. Will it break my heart? No. It'll make it. I, I, I am in the district. That will break my heart that we had the opportunity to, to have this much of it funded and we squandered it and threw it away. And you're asking me to do that tonight with three of you in this that are representing the district tonight. I'm not asking you to squander it. I'm asking you to put it out for a vote. If it passes, I'll happily write that check. For sure. But if it doesn't, I'm just saying 300 people don't get a voice in it. Maybe because they had to work. They didn't have child care. They didn't have something. You know, I'm not giving up my kid's soccer game to come to an informational meeting. Like, that is the one moment in time I have with my kid. I'm not giving that up. Put it out for a vote. I have two minutes to come vote. Do I have three hours to sit in, in a meeting? No. I agree with you. <coughs> and so I'm not asking you to squash it, kill it, whatever you want to call it. I'm asking you to put it out for a vote so everybody has a vote. I'm, I, I'm, all I'm telling you is sitting here tonight looking you in the eye is I don't know what the, the, the time frame will be to set that up legally, okay? So that it's done so that I don't have any issues, okay? I need to know what that is. I'm telling you that we're six months into a 24 so month So can you research period. it real quick and find out what the time frame is? Yep, with well, the 90 other things I got to do, I will and do that. I will I research it real quick, but that is not going to change 
the time frame that we're losing because I don't have those answers without <laughs> without checking with other sources and I don't have the right to grab them by the ear and say I need this information tomorrow morning okay I don't know how long that's going to take all right mm -hmm. I'm telling you that this right here the only thing it does is allow us to go forward with the ERR and that's what I told everybody at the fire station last night that money is in the, the unallocated reserve already it's not costing you $575 a, 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 a year for the bond, which is really cheap on an $8.1 million project to start with. But oh, and one of the is the, do we have sir? Excuse me. Is there one? Isn't there a water tower that served here that's going to be closed and shut down as it is shut down now? That uh, is no longer going to be providing water. No. No. What, what I looked at was the 300, and I brought that up last night. So what I'd like to see done with the, the unallocated fund reserve is that within the next five to seven years that we uh, switch the water tower out and update the water tower. All right. it could, it's a banded tower, so to, to help the system, you could... Are those temperate sections up there? I think I don't know. Let's not get into it that, but you could actually increase it. But the, the, the minimum cost to do that would be about a half a million dollars. So that that unallocated fund reserve for the Morsel Water District, part of it is putting set aside for updates to that water tower. <coughs> Every system has to be updated. You know what I'm saying? I don't care how long we live. At some point in time, something wears out. And we're to the point where it's over that life expectancy. Can I, don't I just know how say something? Say. Yep. I wanted to say that Kevin has has been working on this, I mean, diligently for a long time. People are saying that, um, you know, like if you could put it on hold and table it, this EDR, whatever you're talking about, <laughs> I don't even know what, because yep. EDUs, yeah, EDRs, housing, yeah. it's going to cost $20,000 to go forward, correct? So can't you do that ERR. with unallocated funds and then find out what they're saying is a vote or whatever mm -hmm. and table it? Right. But go along, go ahead with that ED, whatever that one is, EDR. ERR. It's an ERR. ERR. Spend the twenty thousand now. Yes. But look who on unallocated funds. Which is what we approved last night, and what we're trying to get through now is to continue with the project. That's all this says. Is but the wording, we, maybe the thing, you know, they're not comfortable with this wording. Can you read that wording, wording again, please? Oh, dear. It's really just the last, but now therefore. Yeah, just, yeah. All right. It is, it is therefore resolved that a parallel path of further funding for no, this. No, no, oh, sorry. The, the okay, one now, that too all, right, much. So, all right. Now, therefore, it is hereby resolved that the town of Scarlet Falls town board will move forward with the upgrades to the Morrisville Water District using LaBerge Group Engineering so that these water safety deficiencies of high concern will be resolved and mitigated for the residents of the Morrisville Water District. This project is scheduled to begin in 2023 and projected to be completed by the end of 2024. It is further resolved that a parallel path of further funding for this project will continue through applications already applied for and a future WIA application becoming available projected sometime, I don't know exactly when it is, projected sometime to come out after July of 2022. Again, it doesn't, if I want to answer your question simply, I've had all the public hearings on everything that we needed to do. All right, legally. I could have signed this contract six months ago and move forward without even asking another Morseville Water District or a resident whether they cared or not, whether they wanted me to move forward with it. I have held this thing up for six months doing everything possibly human possible to get you guys the money, the most money that I can get for you, okay? there's still opportunity out there, all right? I have not spent any grant money. 
I am of the two grams, and I have not spent any of the bonds. So if we don't spend any of that money in 24 months, that money will be taken back by the federal government. Okay? So what I'm asking is to help what you guys are talking about to get more funding for it. Another $3 million is to get the ERR done, which is going to roughly be $20,000 because they have to check and make sure that we're not going to dig up a, a Native American, you know, burial site or we're not, you know, they, the preliminary has been done. There's two species of bats that are there that we have to work around because, you know, the time of the year when they mate and the whole thing. I, you, you know how environmental studies are. So, but we, nothing that we can't work around so far. But the, the, the end all for we are, and I, I have the paperwork in there. I was more willing to show it to you because they sent me the paperwork after they denied it and said, unfortunately, we didn't get to your project, but we encourage you to reapply because it was a worthwhile project. And now that we have the, the, the politicians that we have, they're volleying in our favor in all of the United States as a U.S. Senator, back to two of them, as you are Senator Schumer and, and Assembly House, Elise Stefanik, uh, again, uh, it, it's, it's, it's bipartisan, so it's, we have a really good chance at getting that congressional funding. I can't, can't look at it here to tell you that the night that we're going to get it. I would never do that. I'm, I don't, I've never lied to anyone, and I'm not going to start tonight. But I'm telling you, if we don't move forward with this, we're going to lose what we have. Kevin, I'm not, and Mike's right here. I think what's bothering everybody, would be bothering me too, is our objections to, we're going to, we are, we'll move forward with the upgrade. So that's a pretty much saying that it's going to be done. Couldn't that be, Mike, a different wording that to continue the... Continue the process by authorizing the... Supervising. ERR. Which is what? Well, is that an engineering report? The, it is actually the environmental engineers. Uh, it's not engineering. The environmental review. Yeah. Yeah. That's, hmm? that's the only thing they're proceed with right now, right? Yeah. It's, yeah, but it, 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 because the fact of the matter is, if the, you know, the, if you go further along, there are going to be other stages to approve things. Is that the same thing? You're going to go out to bid. Like the bid. The bid may come in for less. The bid might come in. It, it may come in for $10 million. And at that point, we don't have the money to do it, so it's going to be a dead project. Right. That's what I'm saying. We're arguing about stuff that we don't know. But I do need to move forward with what I got or we're not going to have any denial of Period. So if, I, if I wait till July and I call the birds come on and tell them we're, we're not moving forward until I have a vote, you can tell me, you, you forget it. But aren't we done? You ain't got enough time to wait. I think what Don was asking is, aren't we, isn't this motion to move forward to the engineer to do it or an environmental review? It's to move forward with the project. Right. But so that's part of that. The part next, of the, the next. Is, right. So we, we could piecemeal this all the way through until the end, but it's never going to go through. You see what I'm saying? Because if I have to wait for a monthly meeting and do that every month, we'll never get it done in time. It, it, so it, it's sad, but if, if this board wants to do that, I'm one vote on it. Kevin, initially, couldn't we call a special meeting for this? Maybe. We can keep delaying. We can. Uh, uh, we can keep delaying this project, and you will lose all the funding you got. That's all I can tell you. I, 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 I don't know how else to put it out there. <coughs> I'm not locking anybody into anything that we've done so far, but I did want to know what their opinions were. I've got your opinions, guys. I appreciate your opinions. Oh, Mr. McCormick, what will we have to do 
appease people so we can still go forward to word to do the ERR Ooh, we have to change I mean that's that's up to you I mean right now you've got a motion to uh, on this so I, I think you gotta you know take yeah, a well, vote on it but we're but in discussion can we do a motion to modify this you can if you want yeah and if we do a modification to, to proceed with the ERR, we're still going to be able to do the ERR and look into that funding that's available and, and not lose that opportunity, right? Not if you don't include it in the resolution. That's what I'm saying right now. If we include it in this resolution right now, to do it. To, to, do, the, to do the ERR and, and see other uh, additional uh, yep. sources of grant funding. But you got to understand, I can't do the ERR. You are not going to be able to do the ERR. I, I, the only one that's going to be able to do the ERR is LaBerge. Is LaBerge. That, that's, that's, which means that you are going to start, like I said, in here. I only put the minimum that I had to, that we would continue with the hire of LaBerge. Uh, the, the, the hire of LaBerge on the overall project is five hundred thousand dollars okay but they're not going to charge us five hundred thousand dollars to do an ERR mm -hmm. it's twenty thousand to do the ERR okay and once we get to that step and we find out whether it's still feasible then we move forward or we don't mm -hmm. or we don't but I, I don't have any more time to wait uh, I'm, so, I'm being, it's not, it's not coming from me, it's coming from me, but that's coming from LaBerge, okay? They said you've already waited six months in a 24 month window. We're not even sure we can get this done and bid out and, and finish before 2024 right now with the, the way the materials are coming and the, as hard as they are to get. I, I, I'm beside myself because I don't understand how better to explain it. But uh, other than, I guess I'm asking for a trust, which you definitely don't have any, but a trust that I am not going to put you into, or myself, or my mother that's 83 years old, in a circumstance where she can't afford to pay her water bill. All right? But I have to be realistic and look at it and say, I have to do both at the same time here. Because I can't keep putting them off on moving forward with what the next steps are, or we'll never get to the bidding period before fall. And if we don't get the project done by next year, we're done. All those grants go away and the bond goes away. So, like I told Donna the other day before the meeting, I said, it will make my life easy down here. <laughs>